Hello, how are you guys doing today? My name is Sir Lewis and I'm bringing you guys this video on the best Android screen recorder, all right? The reason why I say it's the best Android screen recorder, for at least at the moment, is because it does one thing, all right, that other screen recorders for Android does not do, which is record the internal audio, okay? Which is huge because who the heck doesn't want to record the video while recording their internal audio, the gameplay audio, basically. All right, so let's get to it. I'm gonna open up the app here, show you guys the user interface and show you guys where to go to play in that internal audio and the best settings and all that stuff. You guys don't need to worry. You guys already know me. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and you guys can click it so you guys can go. It'll take you to this app and you download in the Play Store and all that stuff. So you guys can see right here the video settings and everything. But first off, I'm gonna show you guys here first where to go to turn on that internal audio, which is basically right here in the sound. You click the sound and right here, you guys can see there's two options, all right? There's external all right which basically records your mics um audio but not just that it still records the the gameplay audio but it also records your mics audio now if you just want to record the internal audio and then maybe add like a commentary later or just record the gameplay audio and it's going to be very clean because it's not going to catch anything of the audio like the mic audio so it's going to be really clean and right here just click internal and just leave it like that recording only internal sounds no outside noise so it's going to be very clean all right and you just press enable and then that's basically it. That's all you need to do to record internal audio. It does not need to be rooted or anything like that. All right. And the video settings right here, um, you just put in here 1080p. Uh, you could put quality 12M. You just put, put the best quality out here. You could put 60 FPS. Um, you're, you could put auto if you guys want that. All right, so if you scroll down a little bit, you can see the air circle right here. You can also put the transparency down for the air circle, which I like to have so nobody can see like the air cir circle thingy. All right, face cam, face cam. You guys can have a face cam. You guys can see me right here. You can have square, circle, whatever shape you guys like. So you guys can see me right here. It's pretty nice. It's kind of laggy because I'm recording on my PC, but you guys can have a face cam to go with it. Uh, just, you know, put the size that you guys want, put it at a corner or something and you guys can enable that let me just disable it for now all right so next thing is watermark which is another reason why this is the best screen recorder for android all right which is because you get to disable the watermark so you guys can see right here this is with watermark recorded by mobizen you just click that and it disables it okay you don't need to pay for any pro app or anything like that you just click of a button and you disable the watermark it's going to be clean and everything all right so just right there you can have a countdown three seconds five seconds um recording time inside of the circle do not show top left corner all right you can put your storage path internal or external if you guys have an sd card or something all right really cool and this also has a built-in editor if you guys want to trim the clips right after recording you guys can do that but yeah there you go guys that's the best screen recorder for android if i were to record on my phone which i don't anymore because i record on my pc i'll definitely use this app all right but there's actually one more thing i forgot to add and you guys want to keep it honest here on my channel i tell you guys absolutely everything all right and if you guys didn't know there's actually two mobizen apps all right there's two mobizen apps the one that i showed you is the Mo mobizen samsung which is exclusive for only samsung devices all right so if you guys have a samsung phone like i do i have a s7 all right if you guys have an s6 s5 or a note any samsung phone you guys can use this one right here which like i said records the internal audio now if you guys have an android phone but it's like a htc or like some other type of android phone you guys are going to need to get the the regular mobizen app which is this one right here i'll leave a link to it in the description below too but there's one thing all right and it's the fact that i don't know why it does this all right but right here it says record internal audio right but then when you click on it all right i don't know why mobizen does this it takes you to this amazon link where it shows these headphones which basically tells you that you'll be able to record the internal audio if you guys buy these headphones and use them all right i don't know why mobizen is doing this all right maybe they'll update it in the future but you know it's kind of sad uh i wish they would have had this for like all android phones but honestly if you guys want to record internal audio and you guys don't have a samsung phone you guys should try ruining your device and try getting the internal audio that way or wait till mobiles and updates their apps so you guys can record internal audio without having to buy these headphones or maybe another app comes out a screen recorder app comes out that lets you record internal audio all right and yeah you guys already know i keep it honest here on my channel I'll tell you guys absolutely everything uh leave a like if it helped you guys out leave a comment if you guys have any questions all right you guys already know i always comment below and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I love all of you guys. You guys are awesome. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace.